Hey guys, welcome back to another new tutorial of Papan School and today I will show you how to make this infographic slide animation in just PowerPoint. Here you can see that we have already taken a blank slide. So first, to change the background color, go to design, click on format background and from here, I'll pick this color. Now close it, go to home, pick a teardrop shape. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here, holding the Shift key, rotate it, make it a bit larger, place it here, go to Format, from Shape Fill, changes color, from Shape Outline, select No Outline. Now we have to pick a hollow circle, drag it over here, place it in the middle, drag this yellow dot to make it a bit thinner, holding Ctrl Shift, make it a bit larger. From shape fill, changes color, from shape outline, select no outline. Then pick a block arc shape, drag it over here, drag this yellow dot, place it here in the middle, make it bigger. Then go to format, click on shape fill, changes color to this and from shape outline, select no outline. Now we need to drag this yellow dot so that it matches with the previous hollow circle. Now holding the shift key rotate it and we'll get something like this. Now pick a text box, drag it over here in the middle, add some numbers, selecting these numbers, change the font to agency FB, make it bold, increase the font size, change the font color to white, make it center, place this text box over here in the middle, press ctrl D to duplicate, bring it to here, I'm just decreasing the font size. Here I'm typing percent and placing it a bit upward. Make another copy of this text box, increase the font size a bit. Here you can add your title. Now pick a triangle, drag it over here, make it a smaller one, go to format from shape fill, change its color. From shape outline, give the same color that we have used in the shape fill. Now click on the small arrow and from here under this line options, increase the width to 3 point. For this cap and join type, select round. Now rotate it, holding Ctrl Shift, make it a smaller one, drag it over here. Then select all of these, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right and it will be duplicated. Do the same for this one. After that, press Ctrl A to select all of these and place them in the middle of the slide. Now if you want, you can change these numbers and this block arc shape. This is really simple. After changing all these elements, we have to pick a text box, drag it over here and here I will add the title, make it center, increase the font size, make another copy of this text box, then decrease the font size and here I will add some subtitle text. Now select this two, press Ctrl G to group, then go to format from align, select align center. So basically we are done with creating all the necessary elements. So now go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. And to add the first animation on this element, go to add animation, select fade. From here, keep this on click and duration 0.25 seconds. For this second element, select this one from add animation, select fade. Set start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds. For this third element, from add animation, select fade again. Set a start after previous duration 0.25 seconds and delay 0.25 seconds for this text box. From add animation, select zoom. Set a start after previous and duration 0.25 seconds for this person text box. From add animation, select fade. Set a start after previous duration 0.25 seconds. Select this text box. From add animation, select zoom. Set start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds. For this small triangle, select this one. From add animation, select float in. From effect options, select float down. Set start after previous and duration 0.25 seconds. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that till now our animations is working. After that, select this element from add animation, select fade. Set start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds for this hollow circle. Set fade, set start after previous, 
duration 0.25 seconds for this block arc shape select fade again set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds and delay 0.25 seconds for this number text box from add animation select zoom set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds for this text box from add animation select fade set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds for this text box from add animation select zoom set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds for this small triangle from add animation select float in from effect option select float down set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds as you can see that we are using the same animation so now i will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation here i'm just copying and pasting select this animated object click on animation painter to copy and paste it here select this block arc shape copy and paste select this text box copy and paste select this text box click on animation painter to copy and paste it here this is really simple you just need to select an animated object click on animation painter to copy and paste it on a non animated object and here we are done now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly you can download this template for free i've given the download link in the video description if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give a like for this video if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from this channel hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching